Dang, it took me so long to figure this out. I should have just looked in the manual, like for everything else. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Deep Sixth. We've completed our last mission, apparently, since uh, this, this here door ain't open. So I gotta pick a new mission, I do suppose. Your debt to society. The first few days or weeks in involuntary employment can be the hardest. You face frustration, despair, and loss of focus. We at Astra want the years you will spend with us paying off your debt to society to be as painless as possible. So we have provided some guidance below. Oh, that's so nice. If I ever get out of here, I'm coming for you? No. Tell me more about your spreadsheet analysis lessons, because I really like analyzing spreadsheets. Being a, a prisoner and analyzing spreadsheets are two of my favorite things. Thank you so much. Well, let's see, we've got six Astra Interstellar points. Uh, I'll probably want to order some fuel rods with some of them. Um, hull damage is only 8%. It might be a waste to waste some of this armor, armor plating. But I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll roll the dice. That's going to be just fine. Roll the dice, it's gonna be nice! And I don't have any distribution nodes, so I guess I should order some of those because I don't know what they do, and if I need them and the ship breaks, then, then yeah, we could be in some trouble. Okay, so that's it for a repairing ship. Let's see what we can upgrade. Probably nothing, because I need to get ore. Ore from somewhere! Minus 50% chance of experiencing software errors, plus 25% scan speed. I think scan speed is what I want, so we're going to install that, and that's all my points. All gone! And now mission, yes. Yes! Deploy communications buoy. Oh, super easy, and we get six points for that? Shit. I'm all over that, homeboy! Uh, kill three creatures, deploy and calibrate a comms buoy. Well, I don't really know how to calibrate it, but I'll accept the mission. We'll figure it out, just like we do everything. And if we don't figure it out, then we end up dying. But that ain't so bad either, you know? Silence and darkness forever! Whatever! That's cool! Entering uncharted sectors is risky and may result in inevitable death. This sector is uncharted. But it is the ideal location for a communications boy. Wow, let's head over that way, kids! Shazoop! Hey, I'm in here now. Alright, let's get down to the reactor room and uh, pop some of these fuel rods in. I got more fuel rods coming. It's all good. Probably should double check that I had my, uh, my trusty wrench. That lovely, lovely wrench. It does so very much for me. Uh-oh. Little baby, he doesn't like being in space. It's okay, baby, we're not gonna die today. Don't you worry! Daddy's got your back. I, I hope. I mean, I'm gonna do my best. That's for showsies. Uh, let's see. This laser's calibrated. I think we did all the calibrations and stuff. We should be pretty good to go. This one's slightly off, but it, it ain't that bad. Uh, that's slightly off as well, but we can live with it. Yeah, 0.5 is not uh, too much to be off. Hey, there's, there's something. Eh, it's still 0.5. That's fine. That's fine. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just rock it. Rock it! Yeah. Uh oh. Attention, pilot. Irregular motion detected in the second. Oh no! In two and four. Okay. Let's head over to two. Some of these. Uh oh shoot! My laser is uh freaking out on me. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Either that or we're gonna hit the hyperdrive. Come on, laser! You can do it! Oh god! This is painful. Just get closer. Get closer so I can turn you into space jelly! There you go! Ha ha! See what happened to your friends? You should run! You should run and take all your friends with you! Oh my god. We need some more power. Bump it up, bump it up. I need to recalibrate the lasers. This is a uh, shaky targeting reticule. All right, let me see. We're taking a little bit of damage, but I want to see if I can uh, fix this. Routine maintenance? No. Troubleshooting. Inaccurate reticule, shaky reticule. Yeah. All right. Um, 
set all circuits in the ship's breaker room to the off position. Okay, so we just need to flip the breakers. That seems easy enough. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, back to room two, and they're gone. Crap! <laughs> um, yeah, they're scratching up this window pretty good. All right, don't let them do it again. Don't do it again! I'm gonna tell you one time, one time only, all right? Oh boy, they're back in room three. All right, splat them. Splat them good! Come on. How many of these things do I have floating around me? Like, five or something? All right, we've got one in room five. Oh God, he's chewing on the window. He's chewing on the window. Get him off the window. Targeting system blocked. How do I get him off? Shield, shield, where's the shield? I missed him. I missed him, crap. Um, Hey buddy, you gonna stop in room four? Room three? Did he stop in room four? I guess he ticked. <sighs> he's like, I ain't going over there. I don't know what's going on. Few do, my friend. Few do. Alright, so now all we have left is this uh, tar bat. And that doesn't seem to be doing much. The ship scanner is experiencing a malfunction. Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? It's Murphy's Law, you know? Anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. And usually does go wrong. So, are you in room 2 now? Oh my god, what is that? Great Maw. Oh my god. I don't even know what to think of this thing. Alright, let's power down the hyperdrive since we're trying to, uh, trying to eliminate these things. Laser configuration modulating. Ventilation fan is no longer operational. Oh god. Now my ventilation fan is taking a crap as well. Super, just super duper. That's exactly what I wanted. No! You have lost power. Oh god! Thanks, I noticed. Oh no! Okay, Air 500. It's all going terrible. Why is it going so terrible? Okay, deep breath. Scanner room. Error codes. 500 BIOS corrupted. Select system admin, then BIOS restore to revert to factory settings. Easy enough. System admin, BIOS restore. Got it. One. And uh, two. And uh, repair. Can I jump out of here? We are... We are just getting butt slammed. I was supposed to deploy a comms buoy somewhere. I think it's supposed to be there, so yeah, we, we should jump. I'm gonna jump out of here. 87% hull damage. I guess that's not too bad. Can I just... Give me a minute before something fucking attacks me. That would be really nice. Room 2. Seems to be all operational here. I wonder what the issue is. Pressure's okay. How about the ventilation? Oh, we're having an issue in the reactor room. Software failure. Well. Well, well, well. Can I go up here and do something? Reactor room. Hmm. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing here. Hyperdrive. Experiencing malfunction. Laser charge. It's down to zero. Room two is, is dead. Debris incoming. Oh god. Please don't be in room two. Uh, it's in room three. Okay, we're in room three. Where's it at? Come on, come on. Here we go. That's what we gonna do. Get rid of the debris. Alright, we're good. We're good. I need to get that freaking hyperdrive powered up, though. Oh crap. Alright. Let's, um... Let's check the hyperdrive. Hmm. Not a whole lot of help can be found here. Well... Crap. Service panel? Are you gonna do something for me? Nope. Damn. Ventilation. It's ventilation in the, uh, reactor room, but then the hyperdrive room is unpowered. Right? Yeah. 
shoot. Having a hard time catching my breath. Okay, that's that's okay. Pilot. Room two. Atmospheric integrity is compromised. Air supply is a necessary component of pilot survival and is therefore considered desirable. Mm. Continued success of the mission. Okay, well we fixed room two. All we had to do was flip the circuit breaker. Now we've just got the problem in the hyperdrive room. I can't I can't power my hyperdrive. Which means we're not going anywhere, folks. We're gonna be sitting here, sitting ducks for uh, the foreseeable future. Alright, life support, right? Low atmosphere. Uh, access the ventilation interface in the hyperdrive room. Check if any ventilation fans are experiencing mechanical failure. I know it's a software failure. So you go to a viewing room console, select and reinstall. Oh, ventilation drivers. I was looking for a uh, hyperdrive. But it's going to be under ventilation. So there we are. Suspend this. Ah, what a pain in the ass. The ship scanner is experiencing a malfunction. Okay, I'll get right on that, friend. Scanner. I should have bought the, uh, less chance of software, whatever you call them. Hyperdrive and scanner are both broken. Ugh. Alright. Let's do the scanner. That's easy enough. Ventilation fan is no longer operational. Why? Alright, error 501. Just keep your hand on a swivel. Connection not detected. Select reset, then reset connection. Easy. Reset connection. There we go. Alright. And uh, then we've got more ventilation problems. Super. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. Hardware failure in ring room 3. So we need to get in there, find the vent, and hit it. Hit it with a wrench. That should work just fine. Did that work? I hope it worked. It did. It did work. Alright, so now our hyperdrive is charging. That's good news, but I need more, uh, more power. So we'll head back to the reactor room. I can breathe just fine down here, thank god. Ah, oh, that just freak me out. Freak me out, boy! We had a hundred things go wrong, but you know what? We stayed strong! We kept our head on the swivel, and we didn't let nothing else uh, get in our way. You know what I mean? I'm proud of, proud of everyone. Which is basically just me and the computer right now. But you know what? She did a damn fine job, too. Alright, we can power down the scanner a little more. Um, that's looking good. Do I have cargo? Yeah, got that comms boy. Go ahead. Shoot it on out there. Do a thing. Hopefully it doesn't crash into that space rock. That would make me quite sad. We've already killed three creatures, so yeah. We can complete this mission right now. Yeah. Got him. So how do I calibrate it? Am I going to find something in the manual about that? Communications boy. Hey! You can help by deploying them in marked sectors. After arriving at the sector, go to primary console, select deploy cargo. Click on communications buoy. After deployment, buoys must be calibrated to work. Use quantum cabling to connect the scanner to the broadcasting system port. What the hell? Alright, I'm just going to watch this little movie. How about that? Buoys must be calibrated to work. Yes. Show me where the system port. Quantum cabling. Ah, broadcasting system port. I've never used that before. Select broadcasting. Okay. From the audio interface, you will need to broadcast a calibration tone. Experiment with the waveform frequency filter and resonance until the buoy starts to calibrate. Interesting. Okay. The buoy will light up when it is fully operational. Well, that's a new one for me, boy. I tell you what. But, uh, I got some quantum cabling somewhere around here. We could do that just fine. Hook it in. Pilot. What? CO2 levels rising on the ship. Why? CO2 levels. I guess that's more important. CO2 levels rising on the ship. Oh, there's a fire. There's a fire in the reactor room, everybody. Let us purge. Can we purge? I could just try and fight the fire, too. 
Here you go. CO2. Oh boy. Come on. Go out. It's just getting bigger. It's just getting bigger. No, no, no. No! God. <gasps> um. Depressurize the reactor room. Alright, let's get out of here. I guess that's gonna work just fine. So, uh, the reactor room should depressurize and then seal itself again. At least that is what I'm hoping. Oh, uh, let's see about this broadcasting crap. Um. Boom, bam. How about this? I think we're supposed to be playing with the tone generator. So, okay. It sounded like it was way up here. I don't think that's doing anything. How about this? Calibrating communications boy. It's not working at all. This is going terribly. Hey, it's on this wavelength. Okay. So, we need to be about here. And filter... I think that was about perfect, wasn't it? Alright. Up? You want, you want up? 97. Okay. I guess I just have to wait for it to progress. Do you hear me, Bowie? Hello? David Bowie? That's what I named that Bowie. His name is David. He's a star man, waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. Know what I'm saying? That's a good song. That David Bowie got a lot of good songs. He's been in a couple movies, too. Tell you what, Labyrinth? That's like a cult classic. Y'all ain't never watched the Labyrinth? They got Jim Henson's Muppets, all of this, popping up out of the ground, you know, playing plank pranks and tricks on a little girl, and then she go back home, but she ain't really back home? Yeah, that's a good movie. That's a good movie, man. That's from my childhood, man. And, uh, thank you, David Bowie. David Bowie and David Bowie's crotch, which are actually two separate characters in the movie. They're credited separately in the credits, which I guess goes without saying. We're almost done progressing, uh, and we haven't been attacked by any aliens, which I think is probably good news. So, reactor room, that's purged. Yeah! We put out a fire and everything. <coughs> I feel like a champ today. Ooh, boy! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 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 Alright. We good? 98, 99, 100. Buoy calibrated. Superb work. Deploy and calibrate a comms buoy. I did it. I did it. What do you want from me? Uh, no external devices connected. Have we calibrated it? It's oh my god. Really hot in here. Why is it getting so hot in here? Why is it... Increasing cabin what? temperature can be very serious. You should check the troubleshooting section of the manual immediately. Cabin temperature. Okay, from the ship's onboard temperature console, you can identify the sort of thermal fluctuation and identify solutions. Well, first we need to find that console, I guess. Stop worrying about the buoy for just a minute. Ventilation console, yeah? No? Thermal console. Is it atmosphere gauge, radiation scrubber... Ah, crap. Where is the thermal console? Power terminal, atmosphere gauge, shield regulator, circuit breaker. Maybe it's in a viewing room. Temperature? Okay. So let's suspend this then. I guess that'll work just fine. We good? We good. I hope we can. I guess the, the boys deployed and calibrated and all that stuff. Oh no, debris. Where's the debris? Room four. All right, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. My reticle's a bit shaky. Where is it? Oh shit, 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 shit. No. Oh my God, it almost got me. Oh buddy. All right, let's flip these circuit breakers. 
try and keep my reticule from staying shaky, at least. You might hear a little girl eating uh, snacks behind me, so I apologize if that's grating to anybody. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like the buoy's really calibrated or anything. It looks like nothing's going on with it. Broadcasting. It says it's calibrated, so... I'm just gonna go with that. That's gonna be just fine. Alright, then then we're gonna jump back home because I don't wanna sit out here all day. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I'm gonna get a, a whole grip of stuff. That'd be real nice. Not yet. Deploy and calibrate a comms buoy. I did it! Fucking monsters. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, we'll do it again. No life forms detected. Well, that's good news at least. Where is, uh... Oh, man. I guess I'm supposed to deploy it here. Ideal location for communications, boy. But I was just here, dude. I was just here. What do you want from me? Okay, hey, hi, everybody. I'm back again. Super. Super duper. Now I'll just wait to get my butt slammed by everything and anything that is lurking in the nebula. All right. All right, sounds good. Sounds like a great plan. Let's get down to the reactor room and use the last of our fuel rods. Oh, we did get more fuel rods. How did that happen? I thought that's not supposed to happen unless you complete a mission. But hell, I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever, dude. Um, this is where we're supposed to deploy the thing? Hmm. Well... A valuable find, you are tasked with retrieval. I guess we'll, we'll jump over there as soon as we're able to. We got two minutes to go, so fast forward that! Oh god. Irregular motion detected in the sector. Oh boy. In room five. And my shields are still all scratched up and stuff like that. Alright, it's a tar bat, so we need to get modulating laser. And uh... It seems my targeting system is a little bit out of whack. So I'll need to power that down, reinstall some drivers. But that can wait until we're done uh, blowing this thing up, right? Hell yeah, it can. Alright, targeting. We get a couple of errors here. Suspend. Uh-oh. Good thing I didn't take, take power out of the targeting system. Uh, is that another tar bat? Dang. What y'all doing out here? What y'all doing, dang? Can't you tell nobody want you here? Bubble, bubble. Done. Yeah, suckers. All right, let's um get all this targeting system unpowered. Now we can suspend this one and the other. Hooray! Now please reinstall. We also have to suspend target ALG. Okay. We got it. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. That's a bad sound. That's a bad sound. I never heard that sound before. What's that sound? Ooh, that smell! Wow, wow, Can't you smell that smell? It smells like fire. It smells like... <sighs> Ugh, fire. Oh my god. What is happening? Let's take a little trip around the ring rooms. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, um, well. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Dayton Does. Uh, I'll be killing you today. Uploaded creature data. Wow. And they teleported. Where'd they go? We got one in room two and one in room four. Okay. I got it. Don't worry about it, I got it. Oh, almost dead. This seems weird. Alright, room four. Where you at? Well, oh, need some power here. Wait, where'd he go? I hate this thing! Alright, room two. Um, um, pumps of power, and then like that. Yeah! 
Is my hyperdrive charged yet? Let's get the hell out of here. Had about enough. Let me tell you something about them great maws, alright? Them some weird creatures. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Of course, I've never been outside of Earth's atmosphere, but you know, don't judge me for that. We all have different life experiences, man, okay? Alright? Check it out, bro. Um, did I deploy a satellite here? Yeah, it's in room three now. Look, look, communications boys all, all deployed and calibrated. Too bad, you have to do it again. Okay, whatever, I guess I'll do it again. And if not, then, then I hate you. <laughs> um, it seems like I can't deploy it here. That sucks. Because we've already got a communications buoy in this sector. Is that why? I am mad at you now, game. You've had some amount of mercy on me, but no longer! And I don't know why it had to be this way. Deploy the cargo! Deploy the freaking cargo! Alright. Fill up the canister. That's what we're gonna do. Hey! Is that hydrium, hydrogen and helium? Okay. Right. Super. I don't think I can manufacture anything with those. That's a very common element, you know, in space. In space! Hmm. I wonder how to get this, uh, Daviorite deposit. Maybe this guide can tell me something. Rare minerals. Asteroid mining for fun and profit. Yes. Please, enlighten me. Identifying the mineral you are attempting to mine. Yep, it's yellow Daviorite, that's for sure. From the manual, select rare minerals. I did. Yep. Select your mineral and note the suggested laser configuration and power level. Oh. Oh my. Well. That's complicated, isn't it? Laser configuration. And it's gotta be like... Yeah. Steady laser and then this much power. Very interesting. Configure your laser power levels according to the manual suggestion. And it's exactly what it's showing. Shoot the asteroid. From the local radar, select a mineral fragment. Send probe. Oh. Dang. It took me so long to figure this out. I should have just looked in the manual. Like for everything else. Alright. That's fine. Viewing room one. Let's make sure it's in a... Uh, steady configuration and it is and now we blow it apart boosh and then we go to the radar and we're like hey here's a thing stabilized scopes are impossible to manufacture and highly sought after a valuable find you are tasked with retrieval all right the give me that is refusing to comply it says the age of humanity is over and that the machine war is imminent. If you can connect what? the scanning console to the probe communication port, I might be able to reason with it. All right, reason with the probe then. Do. Hey, probe, stop being an asshole. You have a job have to do. Negotiated a temporary agreement with the probe. The machine war will be postponed until future notice. <laughs> the machine war will be postponed until future notice. Oh, how kind of you, yes. Alright, let's uh, check that power console. Flip a circuit breaker. That's all we gotta do. Oh, nope. One of these here wires is burnt out. I don't know what color it's supposed to be, so we'll have to go back and check the uh, diagnostic terminal. And it's supposed to be gray, like the other ones, so that's fine. Cable repair kit. Incoming. First I snip. Snip and snap. And then I connect the wire. That's not the same, is it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I broke another one. Fart. I think it's the same, though. Snip, snap. And zip, zap. Alright, we good? Let's see. Um. Oh crap! That's that's not that's not going well. Incorrect cable. All right, so let's shut off the circuit breaker again. 
Let's continue to uh, experiment. This is the wrong cable. How about this cable? Are you happier now? Yeah, that's working. Okay. Cool! Now I can uh, talk to the probe and say go get that thing. Go get the thing! Come on! Well, at least it's not a total loss. I learned! So, um, yeah. Now I, now I know how to do a thing. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Yes, it is. Approaching target. 15 seconds. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, my. He is slow, isn't he? We should, uh, we should upgrade the probe now that I know actually how to use it and stuff. Wendy. Why did I name my probe Wendy? I guess it was auto-generated. I should have named it something cool, like Cool Guy. Cool Guy the Probe, that's the coolest name ever. Alright, so uh, now we got a thing, right? Is that cargo? Oh, we can rotate the ship? Dude! <laughs> Is it gonna stop? Attention, pilot. The ship appears to be losing battery power. Ah, crap. I was trying to have funsies. I was trying to have funsies and you just, you just, you gotta, you gotta do that now. Where did I put those microchips? I told you I wasn't gonna remember, right? I knew it. I knew it all along. Do I even have any? Would be the, uh, the major question. There it is. Hey, in room four. Why would it be there? I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Whatever. Fuck this thing out. Pop this thing in. Alright, we ready to go home? Let's do it. Let's get the hell out of here. That is it! I've had it! Collected item, yellow Davarite. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hey! Hey, Paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! I'm so hesitant to go back to the same spot and try to play a comms buoy again. Again and again, because I'm I'm gonna die. I'm going to die, everyone. Empty sector, notable elements. Yeah, that's where I deployed the buoy, isn't it? Maybe I deployed it there. I don't understand! Oh, crap. Well, well, we'll figure it out in the next episode. That's too much braining for me today. We accomplished some things, and that's really all I can ask. I discovered new things about this game, as I always tend to do. And, uh, yeah, we lived, which is super important. So, I'm just gonna end it on that note, and then maybe the next episode I'll die in ten minutes, and that'll be the end of the series. But, uh, hopefully not, because I'm having a real good time with this game. Definitely worth, what, 12, 13 bucks on Steam? It's amazing! Uh, if you're into this sort of puzzle solving, no hand holding, go get your manual, reading type of game. Anyways friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. If you are enjoying the series, it is always, always appreciated. We've also got links down in the description for Twitter, Discord, Patreon. Yes, I would be quite appreciative as well. If you would at least visit me there, uh, if you want to support me, you can do that as well because that would be like double mega appreciative. Anyways, I just appreciate you watching this far, friends. Once again, this has been Deep Six. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, friends, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, Mario. Goodbye, Mario.